Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. George Groves, Shane McGuigan, uh, fantastic performance from George Groves. Um, was, was that how you expected it to go? Yeah, I mean, I did think it was going to, I thought it was going to go reasonably early. Uh, we were prepared for 12 hard rounds. He, um, you know, Jamie, I was like, you know, you've got, you got to think about what Jamie's going to bring to the table. I thought um, he was going to come in and rush us, and that's exactly what he did. He walked onto a couple of, couple of hard shots, body shots that hurt him, and, um, you know, George Box, Box clever, Box smart, and made him force a fight and walked him onto a, a peach of a body shot. Were you impressed with Cox's jab? Because he, 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 I think it was in the second round, he, he clipped George uh, with, with two great jabs. Um, were you quite impressed with... with uh... yeah, no, I think, listen, I mean, like, if you look at the, you know, the performance that Jamie Cox put out there tonight, you know, it shows that he has that a amateur credentials. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's, a, you know, he's a Commonwealth Games gold medalist. He boxed for England. It, there wasn't a GB back then. But, you know, there was, there was an England. He boxed internationally. He can set set shots up. You know, if you look at the Yildirim fight, you know, you've got a guy that that, that sort of lack that experience and froze on the night or at least you know, J Jamie Cox sort of came out there had, had a go gave it a go and um, made it a very entertaining fight so I was impressed with him and I think he'll come again Looking at the next opponent Chris Eubank Jr um, you probably know him already we, you know everybody what's seen his fights is there any weaknesses I know you're probably not going to say it now but have you got some sort of ideas already um, at, at, that, at that fight um, you know how to go about it and... yeah, Listen it's going to be it's going to be a tough exciting fight but there's hundreds of rounds of them sparring together. Sparring is not exactly the same as, as with the small gloves on, but you know, um, I, I believe that we can exploit a lot of his weaknesses. I believe he picks a certain opponent you know, for a reason, because then he knows it makes him look good. He, he likes the guys put their hands up high, put him under pressure physically, impose himself, and he can land his uppercut at will, which is his best shot. So, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to analyse it. You know, we had a job tonight to go and get through Jamie Cox. We've done that. And now it's time to switch the focus on to Chris Eubank Jr. But he's a very good fight and I believe it's going to be a really exciting fight. Do you feel like Eubank's win last week, um, are, are people getting a bit too on the hype train, considering he knocked the guy out when, you know, he, do, he doesn't really, he's known for not having that sort of concussive power. Um, did the other guy, do you feel, maybe just walked onto the shot? Or do you give Eubank a, a lot of credit for, for that finish? Give him credit. Um, you can only beat who's in front of you. They beat, beat Yildren, um, and you know, we're good in doing so. So stars make fights. So we will, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll um, sort of impose a completely different challenge. Yeah, thanks very much.